Well, welcome back. Just got back from local hydraulic joint. Got our new seals on the piston. And he gave me a new dust wiper for this. So I'll put this back on. And then we can reassemble this. I got new screws. So that'll be pretty friggin' mint. Good to go. So let's get this in the vise and try to make something happening. I gotta tell you, I'm not sure that this is even worth fucking with. To be perfectly honest. I'm not 100% sure I can get under it. Do this. Flip her over. I'm going to try to tap her out from the back. Maybe I can get under it a little bit. Maybe I Gump, you are a genius. Glorious. Alright, where'd that go? Trip on it. There it is. Oh boy. Alright. Let me get you set up. We'll put presser back in or try our best anyways. Looks like 27 milli. It's gonna be the jam. Let's go a little bit bigger. I don't like the way that that's sitting on there. Uh, oh yeah, bud. Oh, 
well, it's too easy. Friggin' mint. I'll just, I'm not sure it's down all the way, so. Just give her a little. Feels like it is. Perfect. That's that. Now we can reassemble. Right, now we got her. That's all there is to it. God willing, anyway. Let's get a pair of snapper and pliers for those. Punch. It's small game. Now we can put this old girl back together, so. We resealed it. Good thing I did. All the Teflon was like junk. So we did that. So now we can get this thing. I have to put it back in the vise here. see these all in threads. Mint. Or crate cat lock, I should say. It's not the jack. Well, you know I can't sit still. So, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna install that cab jack or cab lock. Hmm. That's delicious. Like I said, I can't put it down because I don't have these rubber mounts yet uh them things i did order them uh whether or not they actually have inventory peterbilt discontinued them in 2019 so they are in la from peterbilt i can't get them there um so i think i found them maybe not but i guess we'll see what happens with the order i placed um in the meantime we'll just put this in because it ain't gonna be in the way and yeah. just jack it up a little bit and um, put some pressure on it 
and just make sure it doesn't leak and I'll bring it back. Well, I think we got her licked. Been up there a minute and uh, no leaks. I didn't get all of the, there's a little bit of residual in between like the fittings and the line. Uh, so it looks like they're leaking, but they're not. It's been like that for, I don't know how long that thing's been sitting like that. But so, uh, yeah, I think, I think we got it, Nick. Fingers crossed for lock fellers. It was pissing out of there pretty good before, so. I may just, I think what, maybe what we'll do is we'll leave pressure on it there like that for, I don't know, an hour or so and just uh, see what it does, you know. All right, well, I decided uh, it's time to be about it instead of talking about it. We're gonna pull this remote shift tower off of here. I uh, I went ahead and popped this off of here. It's just, there's just one bolt on the side of it. It's not really like a bolt. It's more like a, like a retaining. You probably can't see it because it's on that side. But it's like a retaining doodly do. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And then I'm waiting on confirmation on a wiring diagram. Make sure this is the same as my 74, but if it is, we're gonna chase these wires make sure and install that switch too we're not going to take this panel off just the remote tower god willing Listen to her, boys. Sloppy. We'll be back. Come here, boys. Welcome back. Here's what we got. What y'all are looking at is the inside of that remote control shift housing. Off camera, I took it apart, cleaned it up, and took some measurements and went and got parts. So the seal dude that is the seal and it's just it was like plastic dude and it just shattered so it ended up being a good thing we're doing it however upon initial viewing i'm not sure where the play is coming from this hole looks pretty good and it appears to fit like really nice in there so i figured the only thing we can do right now to try to figure this out is to assemble it dry and then get a good look and see what's going on. Cause I, I can't see any issue right now. The bushings are still all good. Um, I don't know, can you guys see that? Are we out of frame? No, you're good. The bushings are still nice. Like it's, it's, it's a tight assembly. There's nothing wrong with it. So we're gonna blow the bolts back into it and see uh just see if i can feel any kind of uh play anywhere because i'll be honest with you so far i'm pretty stumped as to what the hell is wrong with it so that's literally all this thing is It's just these bolts, and this is literally just filled with grease. There's a grease zerk there to fill it, keep it full. 
Wow, maybe I should have put the tools away before we undertook this project, huh? Jeez. All right, so then this is this is my suspect part here. So this, I guess, just sets on there. It doesn't look broke. I guess it just sets on there. And then the ball, the shift ball here, like this piece, well, it's got to go in that little tit. Come on. There we go. Um, just gets sandwiched in there. So I'm thinking that's where my play is. So, what we got to do is just get these in here, run them down quick, and then we'll see if we can see what's going on. Um, Okay, yeah, so I think my play, I think this is what's getting us right here, this up and down. So I have a solution for that, I think. Fuck, that's the wrong socket. I was thinking about this because when I got it apart and looked at it, see if this was direct on the tranny, what wears out shit is the, uh, the ball wears out here because it doesn't get enough oil and apparently oil isn't enough lubricant for it. And uh, the other thing that wears out is like the cup where it's where it sets into on this shaft will wear out. Um, but because this is a remote housing and it's all grease, it doesn't appear as though it has the same failure mode. So what we're gonna do, I think, is we're gonna take this I think this isn't tight enough. I think that's my issue. And I think, yeah, that slides up in there nice. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shim this. I think I have some washers that are the right, and we'll shim it so that it's tight. And if that's the deal, we're gonna be in luck, boys. Yeah. Let's get a look at some of these. So I got a bunch of like rear end washers and shit like that from like building diffs. Frig. Oh, uh, actually that won't matter. They could potentially slide out of there though. Let me see what I got. I'm gonna put you guys on pause so you're not just watching me thumb through a drawer. All right, we're back. Here's what we got. We got these. They're uh, a little bit different than these ones, but I think it'll work, and here's why I think it'll work. They don't fit down inside this thing, but that's okay because they fit in the shift housing. So I think, I think that will give me enough movement and enough, uh, take up enough clearance to where this will no longer be an issue. So we'll set them like that. And then we'll set this down on it, which that seems okay. How much up and down do we have? Oh boys, it's, that's like tits perfect. Let's try it. Grease. Back. It took forever to clean the old grease out of this thing. Oh wait, why is there... I missed the ball when I put it together. Shit.
That's going to do it though. That's perfect. Yeah, I missed the ball. That'll work. Man, if I could get one more shim. I don't know, it's pretty close though, boys. There's like... That's probably all right. There's probably 10 thou. Up and down, if that. I'm gonna call that good enough, and then let's get. We're gonna pack it with grease anyway, so I'm hoping the grease will take up the clearance. Clearance. <laughs> All right. So now we gotta put the seals in. Try to do that on the Arbor Press, I think. Why are you no cheat? There we go. What did I say we were doing? Oh yes, yeah, seals. It's glorious, my friends. Perfect, done. So, two new seals, we'll pack her with grease, put our shims in, and this project's done. Hopefully, uh, we'll be taking out the shift knob on the cab anymore. While it's apart, you bet your ass I'm gonna polish that shift shaft. Hell yeah. So, I'll get to rubbing that out. You guys don't need to watch me rub my shaft. <laughs> so, uh, I'll be back. All right, boys, I couldn't do it. I am so goddamn anal retentive. So I ground a flat spot in this, center marked it. We're gonna drill it, tap it for a for a grease zerk. Um, I just have a feeling that it's not getting enough grease up to the top there, so I'm not willing to let that slide, even though this thing will probably see like zero miles the rest of its life um i don't know i mean i'm here and if you can make something better why not just make something better is It's beautiful, like, just picture perfect. I mean, there's like a billion more threads than there needs to be for a little grease dirt, but. <sighs> Gump, you are a genius. So that's mint. I'll switch my bit on the die grinder. We'll chamfer the back of that hole so it doesn't wear into the ball. And uh, should be a cock for Dolly right there. Well, friggin' minty. And the way this goes together, it's pointing the same direction 
is the other greaser. So this goes like that. And then your plate goes here. So there's your one grease zerk. There's your two grease zerk. You can hit them both at the same time. Friggin' mint, bud. All right, so I guess we can assemble. Actually, I'm going to polish that shaft still. So let me do that. Oh, fuck yeah, boys. Clean up all right. So she's back assembled. What I did was, I didn't have a gasket for this, and it's not as though tolerance is really matter. Um, so we just used RTV, um, you know, not RTV, but like actual like good shit, gray. Um, so she's all looped up. Why oh, you know Cheech now? It's kind of stiff. Depending on, oh, maybe I could jam it, putting it in the vice. Yeah, there we go. So now it rolls like it's supposed to. Like, there's really no play in it now. So I'm hoping that takes care of a problem. Our shaft cleaned up all right. It ain't perfect, but you know what? Truck ain't perfect either. The only thing I didn't do was I haven't greased any of the fittings yet i haven't filled the thing up with grease so don't let me forget to do that but i want to get it on the truck and make sure the problem is actually fixed um before i go fill in a grease because it's just total friggin nightmare to pull apart and then have to deal with all the grease so one job done Fellas, that seems a lot better. I don't know if you could tell from the opening, but it sure looks. If that's over as far as it'll go now. There's still a little bit of twist in it, but I don't know that I'm going to get that out. That's from that slotted bolt head. The only other thing I could do, I could pull that top piece back off and make a new bolt that's custom like width. So it would just slide in there. I could do that. But let's get the shift knob on it and see what it looks like. Let me go get that. sick we're not gonna have that problem anymore boys we fixed her sick you know the other thing i bet that we fixed too i have to check next time we put the cab down is i would put money that uh let's have a beer celebrate i put money that this shifter doesn't hit the uh the console anymore you could see there when we went through the interior there's a rub mark in the console from where this was hitting and i would guarantee that's why it was doing it so now all we gotta do is fill her up with grease. Sick! Friggin' pumped. I was bugging the shit out of me, boys. Oh. Man, that's perfect. I'm really friggin' happy. <laughs> 